In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Midmo Telecom and how to use most of the basic functions on the site. So we'll just start at the beginning by going to the URL and then to log in, you'll go to slash wp-admin. And here you'll put in your username or email address and the password that we give you to log in. And you'll log in and see all of the back end things. So I'm going to go down through this list here on the left. We don't really need to worry about anything over here right now, but I'll go down through this list of things and show you how to update a lot of the uh, main parts of your site. So we'll start at the top with updates. Updates are just the plugins that we use for your site it can regularly be updated. And so if you ever want to come in and select all and update them you can for all of our sites that we host and support we regularly update all the plugins so not something you ever have to worry about if you don't want to posts you're not currently using posts on your site so that's just if you had blog posts or something like that and we'll move on to media this is your media library where all your photos pdfs any documents or any images that are on your site would be located and you can add new images here through this by selecting them or dragging them here and anytime that you need to access your media library it'll allow that in any of these other instances but this is where you can look and see all of them here moving on we'll look at forms you have two forms you're currently using on your site they're pretty simple and basic so I'll just look at it real quick and show you kind of how they work. You have just name, email, phone, some check boxes, and a place for additional comments. So if you ever want to add anything new, that's added through these fields over here, standard and advanced. And if you ever wanted to add another field like buttons or things like that, you just click it and then you would edit it by clicking on it and then you could change the, the label what you would want this to say and then change each of your option titles by clicking there and adding and subtracting as needed. You can make certain fields required or not and you can duplicate fields, you can delete them and you can rearrange them just by dragging. Whoops. Well, you can, I don't there we go. So just by dragging it where you want it to go. But we don't want that. And then you would always click update when you make any changes. And same goes for your other form. I believe it's pretty simple just like this one. So moving on to settings here. This is where you'll want to look at notifications. So this is who receives a notification when a form is submitted and so we'll want to change this to your email or what I would do is just duplicate this and then go in and change this email if you want it it looks like it's already going to the right person but if you want it to go to additional people you can change this email here and that's all you would need to change and then all those fields will be emailed to that person you can also view the entries by clicking entries and here they're all just in this one big folder but if you go to forms here and then click entries from here it'll show you only the entries for the contact us form and you can also get to notifications from here so those are the main things that you would want to know about forms. If you have additional questions, you can always ask us. But you've got pretty simple forms that I think should be easy to manage <clears throat> through there. Pages is next. So you've got kind of an interesting setup on your site that's different than some of our other sites. <clears throat> and so let's just take a look at a page. So phones, for instance. And how this is broken up is through different sections. So you can see that there's kind of different sections for each 
part here. So if you click on pages and click on phones here, it's just going to have short code in the page. And so where I want to go is all phone section right here. <clears throat> and then you can see you've got your sections in the right order. And they can be drug dragged to a different order if you'd like them. So let's just look at the intro here. So if you scroll all the way down, there's a few different things marked on here. We've got it set up to be extra short and to have padding on all sides so that it looks good. And then we've got the text, this text here. And it's split up into halves. And so we use this code to make sure that it's split up. And you can kind of tell how that's done. So if you ever want to rearrange any of the wording or anything, you just want to make sure that you put half on this side and half here. And just make sure you replicate this code, this short code here. But this is where you would find that that intro text and so you could edit it from here. So I'll go back over here and we'll go to features and that'll be this section. And you can see we're using that same half short code to split it in half and you can edit any of this. You can make these you can change the size of your text. You can bold, italicize, you can center, left align, bullet, anything that you want. But you've got pretty much, you know, it's it looks good, so I wouldn't want to mess with it or change much about it. But this is where you could come in and change the text if you wanted to. And so then on this one, there's a background image, and you've got this image in the background. Padding is always going to be checked yes, so that there's there's space on all sides of the words, and it doesn't look crammed. And then we've also positioned the background of the photo. And so you'd always just click update if you ever made any changes. So we'll go back again, and we'll look at the service business phones. So this has your text, this text, and then you'll notice that there's another short code here. So, and that's going to be the same thing on the on-premise business phones. So these pages control the text that are on these different sections on the pages. So the security, surveillance, access control pages will all work the same way. There'll be an intro section, features, and then this text will be located on those sections. So in each of these sections, you've got your different sections on that page. So you can remember that, that these are your different sections on that page. Then we've got, we're going to move down and we'll look at these products, and that's where the specific items come into play and how you can edit those. So hopefully that makes sense that pages is going to have all these different sections that you edit. And then let me look at this one more time. So we were looking at this phone page here and then on this part of the page so go to we're looking at all pages so if I just clicked all pages then you can see all of these different pages here then we go to phones and you see it's just short code and then that's why I need to go into all phone sections to edit the different sections but on this page there is a featured image and that's what's at the top here so if you ever wanted to change that that's where that's located and you can upload or change the file through here and then you would just click set featured image and you would click update so that's one more thing just so that you know that's where that very very first element is located and then go to the different sections and then within each of those sections are these different products so let's look at let's go ahead and look at these phone products 
So you've got all your different labels of phones. And each of these is going to work the same way. If you ever want to edit any of these items, then you could always delete one. If you don't no longer carry it, then you can just click on trash. And if you delete it, it'll show up in a folder, in a trash folder where it can be restored or deleted permanently. So let's take a look at this phone here. So I've got my title here, so I know what it is. And if I scroll down further, I've got the title here that's going to that's gonna show up in the product name and then the image is found in the media library and you can change that out at any time if you get new different photos and then your product description goes here and again this works just like any of the other elements where you can format change the size or the bold or italicize change the wording delete anything in here and then click update if you make any changes. We've also got categories in play here since for phones, there's two different categories, cloud services, business phones, and on-premises business phones. And you would just want to make sure that the phone it is, if you ever add a new one, it is selected and placed in the right category. So if you ever wanted to add a new phone product, all you would do is click add new and just fill in the fill this in the same way that those are filled in. Put in the title, give the product name, file, here would be the image, and then put the description here, and then just make sure it's categorized correctly. And so then the other categories are for these other pages with your other elements. So business and large homes, residential, and so then that's going to be the same thing here, business and large homes and residential. So if you created a surveillance product then you would just do the same thing put the title here and we're not don't put the description here you gotta remember to scroll down the title goes here photo goes here description goes here and make sure it's categorized correctly and there's a short and long product description that's just the way that this is set up, you're just going to put everything in the short product description. So that's everything. That's that's all that you need to know. That's where all those elements are located for, for all of your pages. Your contact page is a little bit different. It just has this, the form is located there. So let me look at your... contact page so here's that's where that's located and if you ever wanted to change if your hours change or your address or phone number changes this is where that's located and then your featured image again is right there and the form is added through add form and then you would select whichever form you don't want to display the title or the description and then you click insert form and it's going to go wherever the cursor was and then always click update. So Genesis is just your theme. So we'll move on to appearance. And there's two things we need to talk about in appearance, and that's widgets and menus. So we'll start with widgets. And now we've done a lot of formatting on anything that's in widgets. I'm going to show you where these items are so that you know, but if you choose to change anything here, just know that it might not look the same if you change anything here, and we can help with that, but that's just so that you're aware. So everything on your homepage is through widgets. So you've got the image in your top header there, and it links to the homepage, and you've got a menu. And I'll show you how to edit the menu if you ever need to do that. And so then home top, we've got revolution slider. And I'm going to show you how to edit this slider here if you ever want to. And then each of these images here. And then their titles. So each image and then this is 
how we made that the circle and then it links to that specific page it links to the phone systems pages and that's what the the link text says as you can see right here and so then that'll be the same for all of these it'll be an image the link and the link text so if you ever want to change what that says you can do that through here but again it's formatted nicely and you just want to make sure that you use wording that's a similar length so that doesn't change it too much if you do ever change it and then you'd always click save then underneath that you have this image of the phone with this wording here and these elements and if you ever want to change those they're right here and so this is done through hyperlinking it so in your I'll open this up real quick your media library wherever these PDFs are located I would click on this and there's a URL here so I'm going to copy that URL and then I'm going to give it a name, a title, so whatever I want it to say. I would say title and then I'm going to highlight it, hyperlink it, and then paste that. Click this arrow and then it becomes a hyperlink to that PDF. So... And then this is formatted as a button so that it looks like a button. So that's just done through highlighting it and clicking button there. And so that's that. If you ever want to change anything there. Here's where these this bulleted list is located. If you ever want to change any of these items, that's where that's located. And it's kind of self-explanatory as you go down. Each of these is going to be there as you go down this wording here says experience matters that's the title and then the words and then the image that's in the background off to the side and then the photo and in the footer we have an image again and then this this might be helpful in this request a quote is formatted as a button again and it's linked to your contact page this is linked to your contact page as well and then the phone number if you ever wanted to change the phone number and then the address is going to be in this one so if this ever needs to be changed that's where those items are located and that's how you would edit those and that's that's probably the main thing that you want to know is where those are so that helps you there and if you want to add any more items they're added by clicking and then selecting where you want to want it to go and then once it's over here you can drag it anywhere but you you probably won't do that I can't imagine so let's move on to menus here and you have a menu for or a, a pretty large menu so if you ever create a new page which I don't suspect that you will this is where you would add a new menu item but you you don't really have enough space for more so I would just be careful if you ever do add it it might not look good and you can make any of these categories sub menu items by dragging them over you can change what they're called by clicking by changing this title here and they're added to the menu by through pages you can view all or search or most recent you would click it add to menu and then it will show up and you can get rid of it the same just remove it and then you would always hit save and that's how you would do that if you ever wanted to don't suspect that you will though but that's just so that you know plugins those are what we use to build your site and I don't think that you'll want to add new plugins but if you ever do you're more than welcome to and that's where you would add them users this is where 
your admin login is and if you wanted to come in and change the password for it. This is where you would do that new password here. And then you just hit update user if you made changes. Tool settings, SEO are not things we're going to talk about or worry about here in this video. If you have questions about any of those things, you are more than welcome to ask us. Let's talk about slider revolution. That's what makes the uh, slider at the very top of your homepage here. So you've got an image and then words over the top of it. And so I'll click on this slider images and you have a, it's called a static layer, meaning it just shows up over the top of all of your slides, which is right here. And I can say, show, show me what it looks like on this slide so that we can kind of see it better. And it's not showing me. Not sure why it's showing me, but this is where the wording is located. And so if you ever wanted to change the wording, this is how you would do that. I just double clicked on this or you can click those three lines and then click here and this pencil and edit. There's a line break so that Tech Solutions and then for Mid Missouri on two, are on two different lines. Um, it's set up to the right font. It's set up to be responsive so that it fits on every screen size just right. So if you do change this, you'll just want to make sure you go through each screen size and make sure it fits within the bounds here. And you change the font size here. And you always want to make sure that the line height is bigger or the same size as the font size. You can change the font weight. You can change the color. Other than that, I doubt that you'll want to change much. The These are your background images. And so if you wanted to change that image, you would come to Media Library and either upload a file or choose whichever one you wanted. If you wanted to, to delete a slide, you would click delete here. If you want to duplicate a slide, you can duplicate it. And then if you ever wanted to change it, this is what I would do or add a photo. Then I would change, I would duplicate a slide and then just change out the background so that it all works the same. And these can be rearranged just by dragging them. And they also have, you can tell that it has this zoom effect. It zooms in and zooms out on these and that's done through Ken Burns and just kind of playing around with the background position of the photo and then scaling in so you can ch changing these numbers would make it go in or out and you can see on each slide how they're different oops that's not what I wanted so the last one was 100 to 104, and this one's from 104 to 100, and that's why it's one looks like it's zooming in and one looks like it's zooming out. And anytime you make a change on any slide, you would want to click Save so that it doesn't change anything, and you can click Preview to see if it looks the way that you want it to and go through each screen size. And like I said, you're probably not going to change a whole lot there but that's just so that you know where that's located and if you go to slider settings you can see the short code for your slider is right here so then you could copy and paste that wherever you want it to go and right now it's in the widgets area on the top of your home page where you can see it and I don't think that you have a map that you're using a map no, you're not. So that's everything on the site, and that should help get you started if you ever need to update anything. Those are the main elements, but if you need help or have any questions about anything, just let us know, and we'd love to help.